Hello learners, my name is Teacher Jonathan and welcome to Easy Hello Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today, Grade 4 Mathematics, we will be dealing with data handling and today we will be working on uses of frequency tables. Uses of frequency tables. And before we continue, I would like to pose a question. How can you represent data? How can you represent data? For more on this, join me in uh, today's lesson. And in our previous lesson, we learned how to answer questions involving frequency tables, how to answer questions involving frequency tables. And we say, learners, frequency tables are of great importance unto us, for they help us answer questions that are related to it, or to interpret the data from the frequency tables and answer questions. And in our peers, learners, I would like us to observe this information or the frequency table that we have on our table, on our board. And the frequency tables represents exams done in English subject or tests that have been done in English tests in our class. And we had test one of English, which had an average score of 13. And it has been represented using the tally marks. The second test was a test of seven score average that has been represented. Test three was 10, test four, eight, and test five was 15. And we have already represented it on the frequency table. Now, as we learn on the uses, remember, frequency tables are very much used in schools. Frequency tables are very much used in schools. They are used in schools. And how are they used in schools? In our groups, learners, how can we use frequency tables? For example, when we want to tabulate the results, the way we have done it here in English tests, how can we tabulate this average score? We only use frequency tables to help us tabulate these averages or the scores either between the learners or between different tests of the same subjects or different subjects and we look for the averages so they can be used in schools to look for different exams or tests to tabulate results of different tests they can also be used to tabulate the attendance 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 in schools how certain week, month, as different classes have attended different lessons. And that is another way we can use the frequency tables in schools. We can also analyze and note where we can do improvement, where we need to adjust. We can also use frequency tables. Learners also, number two, in our groups, where else do you think we can now use frequency tables? Yes, Tom, we can also use frequency tables in hospitals. That is very correct. Used in hospitals. In hospitals. How do we use them in hospitals then? We use them in hospitals in different ways. For example, we want to know the number of patients who attended for certain treatment. The number of patients attending certain treatment so we can use the frequency table and we will separate them using the frequency those who attended for malaria those who attended for fever we can use the frequency table to tabulate those results we can also work out and know which sickness or disease has high patients which disease has high number of patients and we can know in a certain area this disease, for example, malaria, it has a lot of infection in a certain county or sub-county or location. So we use frequency tables to tabulate such data in hospitals. Now, in our groups, learners, where else can we use frequency tables? Yes, John. In businesses, yes, we can also use frequency tables in businesses and how will we use them in businesses 
to know or to tabulate which commodity is selling, which commodity is selling very high, which commodity is lagging behind, we will use the frequency tables. Also to tabulate the amount of coins versus the cents of versus the notes. How much money are we getting? How many notes do we have from a certain day, in a certain day, in a certain cell, and the coins we will use the frequency tables to tabulate such reports. And finally, they are also used in government. They are also in, used in government used in government in government in different ways in different ways and for example in agriculture agriculture government can use frequency tables in agriculture to know what type of pest is more prone to certain area what type of seeds are they supposed to supply in a, certain, in a certain climatic region? And this will be used, they will, they will use frequency tables. Learners, there are so many areas where we can use frequency tables. But for more on these learners, you can go involve your parents and your siblings to come or to help you understand any other areas where we can use frequency tables. But before we end our lesson, I would like us to answer questions from this frequency table. I would like us to answer question from this frequency table. And now question number one, which test has the highest average? Which test has the highest average? Number two, which test has the lowest average? Which test has the lowest average? Which test are the lowest average? And the last one, the last task, and the last task for today, test task three. How much or what was the score? What was the average score? What was the average score for test four? For test. What was the average score for test four? Those are the three tests for today. Which test had the highest average? Which test had the lowest average? And what was the average score for test four? Let us meet again in our next lesson.